Hello, everybody. Good morning. Terry Harden, legendary Imagineer here, coming to you live on both Facebook and YouTube. If it's your first time joining me, welcome. This is basically a place where you get to peek into my head, and sometimes that can be scary. Opinions, I talk mostly Disney, but uh, there's a lot of things that I'm thinking about and talking about. My life has been quite extensive with films like Ghostbusters, Men in Black, uh, Jungle to Jungle, Flintstones, Country Bears. Uh, I've done the Foster Farms chickens here on the West Coast. I've been a puppeteer with the Henson Company since 1989. Met Jim Henson in 82. I've been uh, the Come Here, Come Here, Get Away, Get Away Imagineer for almost eh, over 30 years, I think. Uh, and so there's lots of stuff. I have an Ask Me Anything every Friday, which means you can ask me all kinds of questions. I'm mixed races, meaning I'm half black, half white. What else can I tell you? <laughs> We'll start out by saying I wrote I I I am collaborating with a good friend of mine and we created a children's book. Now I know I'm opening first with this, but then I'll open with some well, let's reverse it. Okay. I know some of you are like, hey, is this the first thing you're gonna do? Is tell us about a book you wrote. How about I do this? How about I show you? my dad and celebrate his birthday today. Woo! There you go. You feel better? <laughs> yes, that's my dad. And he turns 87 today. And we did breakfast yesterday. My dad, and I was going to ask you if, if you're a man and you're watching this, uh, or I guess I should say now you identify as a man and you're watching this. Do you tend to be someone who would rather have an event happen like, like, just like a little breakfast or a quick gathering or or stuff like that. Uh, that's my dad. He loves to just get together with me and have breakfast. And uh, my husband and I joined him yesterday and he just, he was delighted. He doesn't, we don't go far. We just pop over near his home and have breakfast. And, uh, and today he's just going to chill. I'm going to call him and say happy birthday later, just in case he, he slept in. I know he didn't, but just in case he slept in, I wanted to give him that break because I would have to call him at seven in order to beat my broadcast. And uh, I wanted to make sure that he was uh, safe and comfy and everything. So uh, happy birthday to my father. And now about the book. You guys are so funny. Here it is. Giggling Pumpkins, a children's book for kids of all ages. People have asked me what age group it's like a picture book with words. I'm not going to lie, but it's really wonderful. I'm the illustrator. So, of course, I wanted lots of drawings inside. And the color art and the actual book was written by my good friend and best friend, Lynette Eklund. It's adorable. It's wonderful. It's cool. And not just because I've done it. Okay. It's our first book. And it's also hardbound because you asked for hardbound. It's also uh, stitched, so you won't have the pages falling out as you and your kids look through it. Signed by both. We can guarantee if you buy it in pre-sale, it will be signed by both authors. We cannot necessarily guarantee that after as we do personal appearances and stuff. We're going to do our best. We're talking book plates. We're, we're kind of getting a plan so you can have both authors do it. But honestly, she lives on one coast and I live on the other. And who knows what this pandemic is going to bring. So we've told people we'll make sure both, are, uh, are, you know, both um, people on the book sign it. OK, it's also made in the USA. So right now we're doing a pre-sale. OK, a pre-sale of this wonderful little book. And whoop, 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 now is the time to buy it. It's only $18, regularly $23, uh, $22.95. So, or 99, I don't know the change, but, <laughs> but this is a great time to buy it because it's 18 bucks plus shipping. Or if you want to pick it up, uh, I will be at a Disney Anna show and sale in Anaheim on September 12th. So if you want to go to that show, you can meet me there and pick it up. Okay. So, uh, uh, really, really would love it if you would buy it early because a you're going to save some dollars at $18 and B it helps me see uh, it, it's the only time we're going to offer it for 18 bucks is the presale. So that's why I'm like, 
you know, please do this. Okay. Go to my website, terryharden.com. Click on online store, which is above my head. And, and please purchase that book, grab that book. Um, and then, uh, finally, I will be, it will be at appearances, but it, it, it will arrive in September. So, uh, you can pick up your copy, but if you go to the show and sale and you pick it up at the show and sale, you buy it at the show and sale, you will be paying $2 more. It will be $20. So 18 is a great deal. And, uh, I have bulk prices available if you want, but right now $18 is the big win. Even buying bulk at 18 bucks is a big win. But if you're a school or something, feel free to reach out to me. It depends on how many you buy. Maybe we can work out something. We'll see. No guarantees because 18 is a killer deal. But, uh, you know, you can always ask. I always encourage people to ask. Okay? So that's what I'm talking about. And I see that Nate Singleton is in the comments and Nate bought 10. So I've told people that uh, if you it, now is the time to buy a lot. Uh, if you think you're going to give to family or whatever, it's a great gift. It's a beautiful gift, hard bound, beautifully bound, uh, gorgeous little children's book and top quality because Lynette and I both come from backgrounds that are about quality. She and I uh, worked together to create uh, many costumes and we did attractions for Disney. We did Pan Galactic Pizza. We've built uh, walk arounds to kick off shows like one of the best walk-arounds we ever did was Totoro for the New York premiere of My Neighbor Totoro. We both built that together, and uh, it was great because um, we we I could see from that when she landed that job and she brought me in on it that uh, Miyazaki, who I had met when I was very young and he was just starting out and so was I, uh, that he had become very, very successful. And it was a great way to discover it by being able to create something like that. So bottom line is she, uh, her history is that she has created creatures for places, you know, things like Mouse Hunt, Jurassic Park. She's been in those films as a puppeteer and a suit performer. She's an excellent suit performer. And we've done things together. We actually did a show together where we built the characters and played. And this is a, a this is a, a, a what do you call it? a slingshot into space? But uh, Hobart and Cosmo, which was a kids show that showed big moving trucks and stuff, moving big machines and moving stuff. And Hobart and Cosmo were two characters that kind of introduced each vignette. And we have had people write to us and say, I used to watch it as a kid. So we go way back, she and I. Um, I helped her uh, deliver two of her children. She has three wonderful boys. And so we're close is basically. So uh, I want to encourage you again to go to the website and buy this wonderful little book, Giggling Pumpkins, uh, our first published collaboration. We're very, very proud of it. We're very, very excited about it. And you'll be getting it in September. So uh, please go to my website. Let me help you with that a little bit. And so you can actually see uh, what it is. I've been saying it, but it's www.terryharden.com. And you go to click on online store above my head and it'll take you right to the store. You can buy the book. Soon you'll be able to go to the website, click on the book, and it'll take you right to the store to buy the book. But I'm in discussion with my web designer tomorrow, and we'll see if we can get that going for you. Okay? All right. And if you can't purchase it, your budget doesn't allow it, or whatever reason, I want to ask you to help me out by sharing it. Please reach as many out to as many people as you possibly can, because this price is a good one. And it would be great for people to get it for $18 instead of more. Because once the book starts rolling in, that pre-sale price will very most likely go away. So you got that for a while. But uh, I encourage you. Makes a great gift. Makes a great Halloween gift. And for those of you who don't know me, I've been a judge on the Outrageous Pumpkins food uh, pumpkin sculpting competition for five years or more. Since 2005, I think so. I'm having trouble keeping track of how long I've been a judge, but it's on the Food Network, all of those amazingly beautifully carved pumpkins. Uh, I'm a judge there, and uh, so you got that going for it, too. So if you like that, you got that, too. Okay? All right. Yay. And then I'll be doing a pumpkin sculpting class live and in person in Anaheim 
on uh, October 30th. More on that later, but uh, just uh, hold that day if you want to go to Anaheim and learn uh, from me directly. Uh, we'll be talking more about that in the future. Okay, so Disney attractions, uh, behind the attractions. Did you see this show? Many of you asked me on the Ask Me Anything last Friday if I've seen it. And I'm going to try to sit again. You see, I, I stand and I sit. I'm, I'm kind of a sitter, stander, sitter, stander. There we go. Uh, that's better. I, I don't sit for very well. I have a short attention span. I'm kind of a goer. So uh, that's what I do. But uh, back to this. Uh, uh, many of you asked me if I'd seen Disney attractions and uh, behind the behind the attractions, and I had not. So I made a point on family day, which is my Sunday, to take some time to watch a couple of these episodes. And uh, wow, it's it's as you've said, as you as you told me, it, it's it's excellent. It's very good. It's very very good. And for me, it became very emotional and nostalgic because it interviewed a lot of Imagineers I've wor worked with uh, in my years. And um, it, 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 they, they did it in a way that it looked like they were still alive. And I started to think like, wow, are they just in hiding? You know, which is, of course, not true, but uh, I miss them. So your John Henches and your, you know, your Herbie Ryman's. I'm like, wow, Whew, I miss them. And uh, so it was an emotional, a little bit of an emotional time for me to watch it too, but it's lovely to see them and to smile. And uh, I'm just getting ready to break ground on Roly Crump's, Roly Crump's chess set. The one who during the Haunted Mansion told you he likes it to be scary. And didn't he have a lovely sexy body when he was an imaginary? Yeah, he was a looker back then, kind of a uh, you know, those, those, uh, you, you may not know, cause many of you may be young here, but if you're, you're in my age range, which is 64, by the way, just turned, um, there was a, the comic book where the skinny guy gets sand. There's an ad where a skinny guy gets sand kicked and then he, he eats uh, spinach or he does something works out or whatever. And then he becomes the muscle guy, gets the girls and everything. Uh, Roly looks a lot like that muscular guy that was in that comic book. I mean, he's just really beautifully. Very handsome man. Very, very dynamic, handsome man. Uh, still a very handsome man and uh, uh, very excited. Uh, he turns, uh, he just turned 91, I think. And uh, so I'm getting busy. I want to make sure that he that he and I can hopefully be together and, and introduce this chess set to you. So the first piece is breaking around next weekend uh, because eh, I better do my sales text first. You know, you got to keep good with the government, right? <laughs> So I got to get that going, but, uh, but yes, so those are the things that are forthcoming. Those are the things that are, are happening in, uh, my world today. The weekend was very, very exciting. We had an amazing garage sale and, uh, uh, just got so, so super excited about, um, just forget, uh, forgive me. Just want to make sure my father didn't, I thought I saw my dad come across the, but, uh, but he didn't. So, so everything is cool. I was, uh, one of the things that during the broadcast, and I don't like when people look at their phones, but whenever they see my dad flash up, I get kind of worried that, uh, that it could be him. So I just, uh, yeah. I just get nervous, you know, so forgive me for that. I won't be looking at my phone again. My dad seems to be fine. He's having a lovely birthday, chilling. Sorry about that. A couple people came to see me at the garage sale. One of them was my friend, Stephen Golden. He brought me this book about my dear friend, Alan Cook, and I wanted to thank him publicly on the public channel because... Uh, Stephen is not yet a member of Terry's Tribe. And if you want to be a member of Terry's Tribe on Patreon, then um, simply go here and join us. Your voice needs to be heard. I'd love for you to do it. We help each other. We support each other. And it's a great group. But he drove out and brought me this book. Alan and I were puppeteers together way back in the dark ages when we were both young. And he passed away. He's an amazing uh, Marion a tear and, 
uh, when he passed, it was a it was a sad day. He had an amazing collection, and like many people who have, uh, like many people who who collect and have a history, their dream was to have a museum that never came to fruition. So this book is the next best thing. Here he is as a young boy, so you can see, like Terry and her love of pumpkins, he had a love of puppets and marionettes, as did I as well. And uh, I want to again thank Stephen for this lovely book uh, autographed by Alan. And I really want to thank him and all the people that made this book a reality because I know Alan is smiling down from heaven and saying thank you for at least documenting my life in such a nice volume. So uh, I wanted to publicly thank him here where uh, it was not private <laughs> because, uh, you know, that was really sweet of him. He came to the garage sale and sat and chatted with all of us and told me stories and showed me cool stuff and talked puppets. And Stephen is always sending me cool puppet stuff so I can keep in the puppet mind. Because when I was young, I have to be honest with you, Marion, my marionette ability to do marionettes is what landed me a job that, that set my feet upon the course because a lot of puppeteers were hand puppeteers because that's what Jim Henson does. But the marionette stuff was the dazzler and it's great for you to have a dazzler because when you have a dazzler, that makes people take notice, right? You do something out of extraordinary, which for them, that was extraordinary. People who were auditioning me saw the puppets and and as a matter of fact, on Dinosaurs, I did the marionette work in uh, when Howard, when, when, what, in the, in the episode of Dinosaurs called What Sexual Harris Meant, I did marionette work in that one. And, um, and that was pretty cool. So, uh, so it, 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 it's, I still do some marionette work, but uh, it's not as, as big. But please think about joining Patreon for $5 a month. You can have a Zoom call. You can uh, uh, see uh, uh, my broadcast live before I come on every Monday and Friday. I do one for them. And it's a lot of fun. And we really help each other. We support each other. And the Zoom calls have been really, really extra special. So uh, I invite you. Please come if you want. Check it out. Patreon.com slash Terry Harden. And uh, see if it's for you. We also do a treasure chest where I give away cool stuff. Um, you know, uh, Things as small as a little magnet like this, but also things where you uh, pins that I come across in my garage. I am liquidating a lot of my stuff because I'm 64. And that's kind of a time <laughs> when you start to think maybe you should give your stuff. And so rather than put it all on eBay, I present it to the tribe because there's a lot of collectors out there and it's like family. So I want to make sure family gets it. So that's the way I uh, we operate. So you get a lot for your five dollars. A month, your sixty dollars a year. Uh, but more importantly, I get to know you and see what you have to offer, and that's really why I'm asking you right now. Really, I want to hear your voice, so uh, and your support, your help. We've got some great artists in there, and uh, some people who aren't artists who are artists at what they do, because the definition of an artist, of course, is someone who's passionate about what they do. So there you go. So behind the attractions is great. One of the things I love about Disney Plus is that they're always giving us content that we would not normally see in other situations. Yes, you can see the Disney films, which is lovely, at your beck and call. You can click on and see it. And have some of you guys seen, uh, let me ask you, have you seen uh, Jungle Cruise? Because the first preview I wasn't impressed with. But uh, there was a preview at Disneyland over the weekend. And many, I think some of you went. So let me know how it was, and if you think I, I saw that uh, uh, I saw that the the Rock Johnson Johnson he uh, took a big selfie of everybody in the audience with him. So I thought that was pretty awesome, and uh, that seemed cool. But was the movie cool? I mean, be real. Don't lie to me now. Did you really like it? You can say truthfully. Um, I haven't seen it yet, and don't plan to pay extra for it because it just really didn't appeal to me. But uh, you may change my mind. So let me know what you think. Okay, you don't have to get into specifics. Just tell me if you liked it uh, over in the comments over here or down here. Okay, because I'd love to hear your opinion as I usually do. 
uh, but the behind the scenes, uh, the attractions is is wonderful. And I also saw a couple of other things. The nice thing is Disney Plus puts on a big thing and it slides across, you know, showing you what new stuff is happening. You know, and I saw a couple other things like uh, all about sharks or something. And oh. All of that kind of stuff that you don't normally see on a Disney you know, you're always looking for the Disney movies or the Disney shorts or the Pixar shorts. And they have those. They have all of that. But they also have some really cool other stuff. So um, it's wonderful. It's wonderful to see. And it's great to see those past Disney things. And it's great to see, uh, like, it's great to see Rolly because I'm getting ready to do that chess set. And looking at Rolly speaking on camera was just just that much more incentive to, to make sure that I've got it. And I got an idea because he talked about Haunted Mansion and how much certain things that he loved about what he did on Haunted Mansion. Um, and uh, that will help me to fine tune that chess set so it's extra when we get it done. So you won't be able to resist it, even though it's probably going to be a rather <clears throat> an investment. But uh, we will deliver. I will deliver because I love Rolly. He's a He's very quirky like yours truly. So uh, so that's it. So there you go, guys. There you have it. Let's look at what you have to say. There's that. Um, I did talk about, well, nah, nah. I did talk about the book. Please just share it. Or if you know anybody that might like to buy it in bulk because it would benefit their kids and stuff, I am welcome to come along with it and talk to the children live and in person if your school or group or gathering will allow it during this pandemic, okay? So uh, let me know um, if that's something you can uh, message me, instant message me, uh, email me, terry at terryharden.com, and uh, we can discuss, okay? I want to help. I want as many people that can order it for $18 to be able to do so because once the pre-sale pieces start coming in, we will pull that price and raise it up to it's probably its retail price or higher than $18 is what I'm trying to say. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, enough, enough selling magic. Let's hear what you have to say. Okay. I'm trying to think. The garage sale was awesome. Um, four hours. Uh, got some visits from some of you. As I said, Stephen came and uh, visited, which was just absolutely lovely. But also a lot of people feeling very touched because there was times I gave somebody something um, or you got it for a really, really good price. So, um, you know, uh, there was a man who was walking. He was pushing his baby daughter, walking two dogs and holding a banana. No, this is not the beginning of a joke. <laughs> But we had to comment. The young man looked like he was in his 30s. And he was absolutely adorable as he had the two dogs pushing the baby, young baby, in a stroller and the banana. Um, we just we just got a kick out of him. Turns out he is in some way involved with the entertainment industry, which when you live in Southern California is like asking people if they like the sun, you know, there's one in every two probably involved in the entertainment industry. So it wasn't a surprise when my husband put out some lights, some airy lights, A-R-R-I lights and other lights like for nails and things like that. If you don't know what I'm talking about, don't feel bad. But if you're in the entertainment, if you're in the entertainment industry, you know exactly what it was. And he had put a, he put a kit together that he was selling for, wait for it, $10 for the whole bundle. But this guy absolutely started jiggling like a like a little dog and uh, was so excited about it that uh, just so beside himself that we we told him that we'd give it to him for five dollars. Because what was more important to us than making the money was getting it to someone who would actually use and love them. And he just went. He was trying to figure out with the banana, the two medium sized dogs, easily 20 pound, 30 pound dogs a little kid, how to carry the lights home. And we said, hey, I'll save them here for you. Let your wife grab your baby, your dogs get some rest and come back by yourself and we'll have them in a box for you. But it was that kind of thing that we did for people because we wanted people happy. And um, a lot of times we would give people stuff because if they really enjoyed it, you know, at a time when during the pandemic, we all feel a little 
a little taken advantage of them. I mean, like for example, the post office just announced they're not only going to raise our prices, but they're going to make the mail slower. Who does this? Who says that to you? <laughs> so I know you're feeling a little taken advantage with gas prices going up and you go to your favorite place and they say they raise prices as they're trying to recoup. Even our best friend Disneyland and Disney World seem to be doing the same thing to us, don't they? So we're not we're feeling a little beaten up. You would you agree? Post in the comments if you would. But if you agree, then it was nice to have this garage sale and make it about you. If you were friendly, if you were sweet, if you were kind, and I saw that you really enjoyed it, then um, I was there to make a deal. Basically, I was making deals for everybody because everybody who came through our gate was very, very kind. And that is because we put a sign up saying masks must be worn beyond this point to come into the garage sale at all. And that's because, well, that's because when in doubt, mask up. The CDC isn't really sure. Fauci is even a bit confused and he's the ultimate in healthcare. And that is the reality of it. So when in doubt, mask up, we decided to do this. I had a couple other family people there, uh, a couple other people there selling as well. And we wanted to protect ourselves and you. So we just asked people to mask up. And so most people, everyone who came through was very kind. And we had a few that decided not to come through, but this was a $100 household event. Not that we gathered all together, we weren't gonna do that, but you had a map that showed these houses and you could just drive up and down the street and garage sale your little backside off. If you were the garage sale, you could get yourself all excited and many people did. Picked up a pickup truck and threw whatever they wanted, loved or wanted to have in there and garage sailed like crazy from eight to 12. So it was a lot of fun, a lot, a lot of fun. And we met some great people and it was nice to just give people some stuff. And then on family day, I relaxed. You may, those of you who know me say, I say, do something nice for someone else when you're not feeling so good because it makes you feel good. And my, I, I know my neighbors here in my neighborhood. We have kind of a, we have, we have a uh, Marcus Welby, leave it to Beaver, uh, uh, ET, where all the kids know each other, they cycle together, they scooter together, they play together, basketball court in the street in some places. Uh, it's just a great neighborhood to be in. And so I know all my neighbors and my neighbor across the street, he's a very dear person, Jim, uh, lost his wife during the pandemic and he sent an alert out to me yesterday and needed some help, needed some assistance. So uh, I, will, I will tell you that at first I didn't really, it's my family day. I was hesitant, but I got straight in my head, remembered, do something nice. And we went out and, and helped him out. And uh, and as a result, he bought me a box of red vines for my movie night uh, last night when I got to screen. Finally, I got to screen uh, a movie that's on Prime called Nobody with uh, Odin Kirk, who is in... Uh, uh, was in Breaking Bad, but also has Better Call Saul. I love this actor. I think he brings a, a wonderful mix of of innocence, uh, kind of a, you know, if you want to see an everyman that just seems to be in a doldrums of life, he can play that. He also plays that with an edge. He's just a great, great character. And uh, I've been dying, to, I've been stalking his movie to watch the price come down. And yesterday my husband gave it to me as a special gift. Uh, we actually gave it to ourselves because we made a little money at the garage sale. And uh, and it's a great movie. I, the best way I can tell you about it is it's got a lot of action. So it's, it's a lot of uh, fighting. So if you're not into that, don't watch it. Um, but uh, what's really lovely about it is, is it feels like an American Kung Fu movie where there is a quick little story not a, not a big story not a lot of um not a lot of uh 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 what do they call it uh groundwork laid like in avengers they have like an origin story they don't really do a lot of origin with them they just kind of put throw you into it and then action happens so as a child i used to love these kung fu movies where the they would get together and they would go you're tall you're short let's fight you know or, uh, hey, you look at me wrong. Let's fight. But it's all about the Kung Fu, isn't it? The fight. And then there's, it's done on ladder. It's it's just beautiful. It's just, it's fun. Because if you feel like action in a very thin story, there's story, but it's very thin. 
Um, it's great. It's a lot of fun. And um, this is how I was introduced to Jackie Chan way before Jackie Chan came to the U.S. And uh, I was a big fan of his and Michelle Yao <laughs> as well. So bottom line is uh, nobody on Amazon Prime. Great movie if you like. If you think you would like the sort of slap, sort of the action-packed, thin, fun. It also has uh, Christopher Lloyd, who is absolutely adorable in the film, and uh, uh, Michael Ironside. So you get some really good uh, group of people. A lot of fun. So check it out. I just loved it. I just loved it. I watched it twice. Um, so it was wonderful. So now, is there anything else I can tell you before I, I walk away that you need to know? Uh, Pumpkin Class will be gearing up. You'll hear about that soon. As soon as I get a page, you'll go directly to the page if you want to do it live. Uh, I will probably do a virtual one as well where I teach you how to sculpt pumpkins like those, similar to those that people do. I'm a judge on the pumpkin, in the pumpkin conversation, as I mentioned. So kind of help you do that too. You'll really love it because it's a lot of fun and you can do it. That's the thing I want you to really know. It is not just for artists. It's for art, all art-minded creative people who want to break out into creativity, want to learn about creativity. I'm a really good teacher. Put me to the test. <laughs> anyway, there we go. Okay, so I've talked some Disney. I've talked a little bit about that. This weekend was sensational. Uh, talk to me. If you saw Jungle Book, um, because I did see that there was there was that involved. And um be safe, stay safe. Okay. All right, here we go. Here, let's hear what you have to say. And you saw how I sat for like two seconds and now I'm standing again. This is because I really am a doer, and at the garage sale, I never really sat down much. Oh, because I kind of feel when you walk through and you're shopping that I should be at attention and and making it all about you. I mean. You know, after all, you've been nice enough to walk to the threshold and possibly buy something at the garage sale. So why not give you my full attention and my kindness? Uh, in fact, one girl said to her family that I was so nice. She sent the rest of her family back to come into my sale and uh, and they bought stuff. And it was just she said, my daughter said you were so nice. We came back so we could see and they bought something it's really, really why is nice such an unusual thing nowadays? I don't know. But uh, it's that one card you can play that really touches people and really makes them feel good. And uh, sometimes you get a laugh. So, uh, yeah. So it was great. It was great. Okay. Let me let me tune. I keep promising you it's going to be about you. Let's make it about you right now. Um, oh, StreamYard telling me about the comments. Uh, hello, Angie. Of course, Angie's here today. And thank you for saying happy birthday to my dad. So my dad is going to have a great birthday. Yesterday we had breakfast. He got to have his favorite crepes at his favorite restaurant. And uh, he likes them because they have strawberries on top. And then tonight, my cousin who uh, stays with my father and looks after my father, just, you know, two guys in the hood, you know. I think that's the way my cousin says it. If I'm saying it wrong, forgive me. I'm 64. But uh, but my dad and he, my my cousin's gonna, my cousin likes to cook, and my cousin is making him his favorite, which is pigs and blankets. Have you ever heard of that? You put a little hot dog, wrap it up in a crescent roll, and bake it. Mm. Delicious, huh? So that's my dad, one of my dad's favorite meals. So he's gonna make those for him tonight. So that's kind of exciting. And uh, he'll have like a two-day birthday, and then he'll get wishes from everybody in the family from all over. So it's kind of exciting. Nate, good morning. And here is Nate. Thank you, Nate, for buying 10 books. So sweet of you to support the cause. Uh, I will promise that they will really deliver nicely. And I, I thank you for buying that book. It uh, makes us feel warm and fuzzy inside. Uh, you being part of just makes it extra magical. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> thank you very much for saying that. I really appreciate it. Nate is part of the tribe. And uh, he brings his expertise to the tribe. So there's a couple of things with Nate, if I may share, that are amazing. One of the things is Nate really knows Disney product. If he doesn't know Disney product, he knows how to find information about it. And that is one of the things that he shares with us on my In the Tribe. Okay. And in the tribe, you can have something that you don't know quite how to sell it or what it might go for that you can ask Nate and uh, he does this for the people in the tribe. 
and uh, on the Patreon page. And they just are so grateful, including me. He's actually helping me out too. And uh, he's just fabulous. He's just a fabulous, he's just a great, great guy. And now he's picking up drawing. He used to draw when he was younger. And the tribe has given him a nice comfy bubble to show us, forgive me, some of his work. And, uh, and, and uh, we're very excited. We're encouraging him to get back into it because, uh, and we're really glad that he's decided to dip that toe in the water. So uh, he's looking for something a little, uh, something else to kind of do as we move forward. And this is one of the things. So the tribe is many things. It's not just me. It's me and a group of people who are all about helping each other. And it's an honor to be a part of it. So uh, I hope you will join us for $60 a year, $5 a month. If you want to pay more, there's higher levels, but that's the base level. And uh, you, you can hear from everybody that that's the one that, that many of them are part of. And uh, I really do take care of you there. So, so thank you, Nate, for popping up. Michael Roman, here's another person. Thank you, Michael, for buying 10 books. And uh, Michael is another one who's very, very helpful in the tribe. He and his mother do a lot of traveling, and a lot of times they will share with us places to travel. They are two people that are very, very careful when they travel, and they will show us places that we can go, like Monument Valley, where, uh, and they'll tell you about uh, uh, attendance, and they'll show you some beautiful pictures and entice you. Again, creative people doing creativity in a different way. Michael used to teach. So he also is very helpful if uh, I need an editor. Uh, Michael is 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 good at that, whereas I am not good at that. I could have done that. Uh, this is a children's book. It has maybe it doesn't have many words. So uh, and and that's very good with that. So I didn't have to worry about that this time. But if I'm doing my own book, it's good to have someone like Michael. Or if you want to do a book, Michael's there to give you you know share with you there. So again. Each person has an ability and there's tons of other abilities from Michael and Nate. But what I'm saying is if you're someone who's saying, I'm not an artist, how do I benefit? You benefit by positive communication. And if you're someone who's standing at the precipice of your life and you're trying to figure out what do I do with it? And you want to be able to speak freely. The tribe is where you do that. Okay. On my Patreon page. So, so I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Uh, looking forward to sharing your magical book. I'm looking forward to it too, Michael. And I really, really appreciate your support. Just great, great people. Did you have rain today, Michael? I had rain. I also had thunder. I don't want to say it too loud because I'm hoping they'll do it again. I love thunder and lightning. I just got the tail end of it this morning. But oh man, was that exciting. Huh. I mean, California, we don't get that very much. You know, we don't. We don't get it. We don't get it. <laughs> we're so jealous in Southern California because we don't get your rain. <laughs> so we were really glad to have some rain today. <laughs> I'm so happy. So uh, thank you, Michael. Thank you. Nate said, sure did. Got excited. Not going to miss out on this opportunity. They're going and they, and they are going to make such extraordinary giveaway prizes and gifts. And thank you for saying that, Nate. So uh, this is a great team to buy this book, eighteen dollars. And thank you all of you, Rebecca Mosley, Charles Atlas, the bodybuilder in the ad contents. Rebecca Mosley, we should chat about the new children's book. I hope you saw it from the beginning, but if not, I'm going to show it to you again. I want to talk to you guys there. Perhaps we can chat on Laughing Place. Rebecca is Laughing Place. Maybe we can reach out to your people out there. We really want to make sure that everybody gets a chance to see it. So, Rebecca, I'd love to chat with you about, about that sooner. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'd love to do that. It's a great book. You know me in quality. <laughs> Thank you for that. Oh, thank you, Nate. Thank you. You're so sweet. Everybody is so, I mean, seriously, I, it's not me just saying this, you know, I don't want to sell you a bill of goods. And some people have said that what I give you for $5 a month, many podcasters, char, uh, many uh, patrons charge you much more or give you a lot less. And that's really touching for me because I, I do want to do good by you. You can, like I said, give me more if you want. Um, there will be other levels. There are other levels. I'm just not as active as I should be in those other levels. So that first level is just fine. You're not, you know, 
Uh, I'm grateful to all levels. Uh, I have some people that are at the higher levels that are just patient with me, and I appreciate that. And then some that just want to support my energy and my spirit, and I love you for that, too. But, uh, yeah, thank you so much. Bob Berdine, you haven't lived until you see Terry turn the drum for treasure chest. <laughs> oh, yes, I do do a treasure chest where you get some prizes. I did mention that, didn't I? Get such a kick out of returning the drum and the theme music. Yeah, I, I hum the theme music. I don't play it. Uh, I hum it because, uh, you know, you never know who's going to be upset for intellectual rights, correct? <laughs> so I just sort of hum it. <laughs> Thank you, Bob. Hi, Jerry Cannell. I was talking about your beautiful daughter earlier today uh, and weight gain uh, uh, on the tribe. So it's great to see you. And Jerry, I hope you saw my book. And I hope you will go online and order it early, $18. Uh, just want to make sure that you guys get the deal. So that's why I'm talking about it. I did see Behind the Attraction enjoyed the segments as an editor of Theme Park and Attraction Documentaries. It was great to see Disney version, their attractions. Uh, the host, I felt, was too jokey and felt that the show would be better and more serious tone. My opinion, still a great show. I thought the voiceover person was the wrong choice. My husband says she is a Disney announcer type, but I agree with you. Not even only jokey, but kind of sing-songy. So you found yourself, if you were relaxed, maybe falling asleep, not because the content was bad, but because of this sing-songy voice. So if you are doing a production, Jerry Cornell makes a very good point. You want to make sure you got the choice uh uh, voiceover person and that the voiceover person helps to create and add to the overall show. We desperately want to hear others say what they have to say, don't we, Jerry? It's a really good point. Um, hello, Catherine Taylor. Good morning. So nice to see you start today. You are welcome. And again, Catherine, please go to terryharden.com, click on online store and check out our Gigging, Giggling Pumpkins children's book. $18 is a, a special pre-sale price, and they will be out in September. If you're not sure if you want me to ship it to you, simply put pick up, and we can discuss that later if, you, if you're if you not sure, okay? Um, we'll discuss shipping later. So, you know, whatever it takes, guys, to help you out. If you are a PayPal person, message me, and I will send it on PayPal. You cannot do PayPal on my store, and the reason is because they double charge you. So if I allowed PayPal on my Square store, Square would charge you and PayPal would charge you. And why do you want to pay double the fees? So just send me and say PayPal is your jam and I'll send it. I will PayPal to you, okay? I, I have no aversion to, to taking a minute and going over to PayPal and sending you an invoice so you can pay it on PayPal, all right? Just ask Nate. That's what he asked me to do, okay? So Catherine, good to see you too. Kelly Freeman, totally tough time all around. So great to hear about your kindness. Uh, Kelly, yeah, it, it, it's, it's, it's natural, or at least I thought it was. So when people are shocked that you're being nice, this is a sad state of affairs. This is very sad. So uh, I just was that way because I saw some joy in your faces as you came through the garage sale. I saw a lovely, I, I, had, a, um, I had a jean vest. That was bedazzled, okay? Made by Levi's or something, but you know those jean, the jean jacket, but it had no sleeves. And it was bedazzled with gold rickrack and and jewels and and little fringe and everything. It was really lovely. Probably should have taken a picture of it. But a young girl, she might have been anywhere between the ages of, of 12 and 17, uh, put it on and she looked absolutely adorable in it. And she just kept, you know how you love something you're wearing? You just go, oh, mm, I feel so good, you know, that uh, I, I, I told the parents, uh, make an offer. They offered $5 and I took it. That girl rocked that jacket and uh, it felt good. So. I, a lot of the times I don't like to put out a lot of t-shirts and stuff because I want the clothes to be exciting. So I do put in, I had a couple of pair, nice pairs of jeans out there. They were smaller sizes. Uh, but I, you know, I figure, you know, if you're getting a pair of jeans for five, 10 bucks 
and they don't fit you, you can cut them up to make something wonderful if you happen to be a sewer, right? Uh, there's people that we have in the tribe that would take those genes and make magic. So um, all kinds of reasons if you don't, if they, if they don't fit you and the price is right. Correct. Yeah. So I try to good, do good stuff, but thank you for saying that Kelly, because it, it makes us both feel good. Doesn't it? You do something nice for someone else. Makes you feel better. Right. Angie says, I love that you have garage sales in your area. We have them all the time in Iowa, but feel like some States don't, don't don't do them at all. They don't. In fact, in Ca Southern California, some you know the young lady who was with me on Saturday, her town does not allow garage sales. Period. No garage sales. The reason is because some of these people that do garage sales in the Los Angeles County, which Los Angeles County is kind of you can do them every week, uh, they make it their business, and so they're selling like toothpaste and makeup. You don't know where it's been and they're, you know, you know what I'm saying? So my city allows you to, you have to, you have to apply for a permit. It allows you to, you apply for the permit and then it gives you a free day, a free weekend. So you're allowed three per year and the free weekend is in October and that's the next one we're going to be doing. And I'm hoping that it will be second week of, of, of October uh, prayers for that because I want to do it, but, uh, we'll keep you posted on that. We'll do it for two days this time. And, uh, we have a thing that I have come up with because again, as Kelly has mentioned, I tend to be about you and your love of stuff. So what happens is Saturday, we sell it Sunday morning, we sell it, but after three o'clock, sometimes after two o'clock, depending on my mood and the weather, um, after two o'clock, you can come back and anything that's on the tables that is not sold, you can take, you can just grab it and go. But now you got to do a little strategy because if it's something you really like and you think someone else might buy it, you're going to have to buy it. I'm always doing great deals, right? But I do this grab and go Sunday at, after three and you can just grab it and people love it. They come and they just love it. I remember a lovely lady who saw a pair of crutches. <clears throat> we had a pair of crutches and uh, she saw a pair of crutches. She got so excited. She had just had someone break their ankle or their leg or something and she couldn't have fair crutches, Ford crutches. She came, she grabbed them, she left. In fact, she shoveled canes in there and all kinds of, we had extra stuff. Seriously, uh, if it's left, you can grab it and you, you, yeah, you can, you can take it home with you. And the nice thing about this is my yard gets cleaned up and you're happy to do it. So that will be, I hope, second week in October, but I will keep you posted. I've got to check with the city, my city, to see if they're going to do that. And it will all be based on the pandemic because today Fauci even said there are going to be some mandates if things don't get their act together. Uh, the numbers are going up and they don't like it. So, uh, so yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So, so uh, I understand if they don't have them and many people come over here with their stuff because many cities don't have them. So uh, we have three and I invite you to come. If you, here's how it works. If you're someone who is in, this is the way it is. If you want to, you want to set prices for your stuff, then uh, you have to be with me. But I have a couple neighbors close by that uh, we work out other things too. So it's all about helping and it's so much fun. So yeah, uh, at our age and income, looks like we won't be able to afford a trip to Disneyland or World again. They, they could do senior discounts. You know, that's a brilliant idea, Catherine. Um, grandparents always spend dollars for their grandchildren. It's so true, isn't it? And they really are getting us. They really are stabbing us. They really are hurting us. In fact, I had a big conversation with my chalk walk team on Saturday and and we were all saying that it's it's not it's not our same Disneyland, and it's dwindling. And it, you know, Walt wanted it for everybody to enjoy, and it's just not that anymore. Plus, they're really working on making everything PC, and who knows what our Disneyland will be after that? Heartbreaking, really heartbreaking, in my opinion. Understand if you're new to this channel, or you're watching it after. Please post in the comments. But get get me. This is my opinion in my brain. And uh, uh, it's it's not an apology. It's just that's what it is. This is my channel and this is the way it works. And if you're enjoying what you're seeing or you like what you hear, 
and you want more subscribe please <laughs> I'd love it if you subscribe to my channel. If you're watching me on Facebook and you haven't yet subscribed to my channel on YouTube, please do so too. One nice thing about watching it on YouTube is that you're slow and getting up in the morning. You can watch YouTube from your bed and still see me live. Uh, so that's the one thing. So please, please do subscribe. Hit the little bell so you can know. But, uh, but thank you in advance for taking that action because I know your time is valuable. Bob says, 100% agree. I know, right? Me too. Me too. Me too. Happy birthday to your dad. Hello, Angie. Well, isn't that sweet? Double greeting. Yeah, my dad is, is I know he's going to have a good time. We're, we're, we're going to do a couple extra things for him. He's, he, he, he really is loved by his whole neighborhood, which is good. It's great that you're close to your neighbors. How long have you lived in that neighborhood? Oh, this is a, a big surprise, okay? So... This is a great question, by the way, Angie. I probably should save it till Friday, but I'll answer it right now. Uh, we had an earthquake in 1994. Uh, yeah, 1994, and we bought in 1994. Everybody was running from California, hating it, hating it, hating it. And the prices dropped. They fell because of the earthquake. And we bought at that time. It was one of the smartest things we did. And at the time, my husband was my boyfriend. So he bought a home and I bought a home. And uh, uh, that was the biggest blessing of our life was doing that. So um, we've been here since we've been here. How long have we been here? Mm, almost 20 years. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the nice thing about being what we call over the hill, not over the hill as an age, Angie, but over. OK, so California has Southern California. It's divided in two parts, if I may share. One is. Uh, I, I guess you'd say uh, south of a, of a hill, of a ridge. You go up and over into Hollywood and into downtown Los Angeles. And then there's north of this hill called the San Fernando Valley and Studio City, places like that. People who are north of the ridge go, oh, do I have to? About going south of the ridge. We whine a lot about going there. Not that we won't but we just whine. Okay. And then if you're South in Hollywood and Los Angeles, you whine about coming over the hill into the San Fernando Valley, et cetera, et cetera. So I am North of that Ridge. And, uh, I feel that the people are more social in these areas, not always, but as a rule, I noticed that they tend to speak to each other, maybe because we have a lot of single family homes South of that mountain range. When you get north of that mountain range, there's more apartments, condos, things like that. And that is because a lot of people love to live right there in Hollywood. And, and so they should. But sometimes they're not as social. It's kind of interesting. I had a friend who moved from a very social area uh, from back east. You know, she was, uh, you know, Tennessee somewhere where she was used to all the socialness. And then she came and she said, I really expected California to be more friendly and they weren't. And we had an acting class together and we were in acting class and she happened to mention to me this feeling. And I said, Oh no, you just need to be over here. And she said, Oh, it can't be that simple. And I said, sure it is. And I said, what are you paying? What can you pay? And I had a friend because I also work on rose floats and I had a friend who was, who was leasing um, an apartment that was in his backyard. And I introduced them and said, she was, she's a lovely, lovely girl. She's still living there today. And this was years ago. This was like, well, when was 1996? 1996. So you had 96. You know, you do the math. <laughs> but at least 10 years, a little, you know, almost, almost 20 years. She's still there. She, she loves the ability of walking her dog and visiting with family members. We're just super fortunate to have a place that is so friendly. And, it's, and, and I, we cherish it and we protect it. There's Deanna. Hi, Deanna. Uh, Deanna, I did mention on the tribe that I need you to message me. Um, watch that a little bit or message me later and I'll explain. Uh, I want to get your gift to you and I made a mistake. So let me, you know, just reach out to me now that I see your lovely, your lovely face here today. I want to say, please do that soon. Um, Nate, absolutely my pleasure. Yes, Nate, that is so true. See, I love when they comment. Um, you on Muppet movies, uh, Michael Morris. Yeah. Some Muppet movies. Yes. Yes. 
uh, the Muppet Show, the one that they did with uh, um, for Kermit having a girlfriend and Miss Piggy kind of, you know, um, the one that didn't last very long, didn't do a lot of seasons. I was in that. I did uh, a few shows on that, three or four. And it was it was fun. I loved it. Uh, but um, hopefully we'll get to do more. Um, also, uh, I was an extra. You'll never see me in the Muppet movie, the original one with Kermit the Frog and Jim Henson. They'd... They did a shout out when they were here in Southern California doing the final scene. And uh, we were a part of that group, uh, Rainbow Connection Group. Uh, then um, I've done uh, Muppet Mini Classics, Dinosaurs, the TV show where I'm Team Baby Sinclair. I think you guys all knew that uh, with Kevin Clash and uh, and uh, uh, Kevin Clash's lead on that. John Kennedy I, eyes. Anyway. Puppeteers are always teams. So, yeah, Country Bears, we did together with Jim Henson and Disney together. That was a collaboration, which is nice, as was Dinosaurs, actually. And, um, yeah, there's so, there's there's more than, more than Tongue Can Tell, more than I can count. Yeah, I did a lot of stuff with Henson's and still do. But, uh, you know, they picked their, you're, you're not on retainer, which means you're not paid all the time to be in the Henson stable. They simply pull you in when they have a project to do. They pick up the phone and say, hey, come audition. And then you get it if they like what you do. And if you're not quite suited, they put you back in the box and wait till next time. So the come here, come here, get away, get away, Muppeteer. Just like the come here, come here, get away, get away, Imagineer. <laughs> it's nice because I can keep my company. So Thank you for saying that, Michael. Um, and I know, Nate, you always do. Thank you for that. Deanna says, we had flooding Saturday night and our house water was up to our... <gasps> oh, you had rain too. You had thunderstorms. And you had the F word, flood. Wow. Whoa, was that like, oh my gosh. Because, you know, when you're in a dry area, you don't think flood, do you? I mean, here it would be very rare where we are, but you don't think flood. Yet we do, just like Deanna saying, have flood warnings today. Not in my area, but there are areas that have to worry about the F word, flood. Are you okay? I hope you are. Michael says, you're a big Muppet fan. Ah, uh, yeah, me too. Me too. I also did, just for you, Michael, I did a show called Indian in the Cupboard with uh, Frank Oz. Frank Oz was the director. And uh, he actually handpicked me to be working on that movie. I didn't do a lot on that movie because they switched to CG, but I did do a bit. And uh, and it was great to work with Frank Oz. He's a he's a love and he's a genius and he's fun. He's a lot of fun. Just as was Jim. I worked with Jim Henson too on Muppet 3D Theater, which you can see at Walt Disney World. It's no longer at Disneyland, but it is at Walt Disney World. And and my friend uh, Johnny Johnson actually surprised me by taking me over through there's a route you can get to galaxy's edge. He made sure I went by Muppet 3d theater and I almost lost my mind because I wasn't sure I was surprised it was still there is what I'm trying to say. So uh, I was very much a part of that. And that's the, the, the project I worked with, with Jim Henson. And yeah, yeah. Dream come true. I will tell you that Michael, a dream come true. It's a great group of people, very talented. And uh, the show it's amazing. It's amazing. Nate says, I'm so grateful to you and the tribe for all the encouragement and support. And that is it in a nutshell, guys. Why you should be a part of it. Don't want to twist your arm. But if I have to, here's a twist. Come join us. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, you should get some rain when here in Indiana in the fall. Remind me to text you later about your trip here. Yes, uh, reminder. And that's one of the reasons, you know, I flew up, this is years ago, to see my best friend who wrote the Pumpkins book, Lynette Eklund. I try to go see her in the winter when there's snow because I love waking up in her home and seeing snow on the ground when there wasn't any the night before. That does not happen where I live. Rain is rare where I live. So uh, we're not India or Dubai, but we are dry. Ooh, I made a run. We're not India or Dubai, but we are dry. And uh, so when it gets wet, we love it. We absolutely love it. So yippee. Hope you're okay. And yes, hope you're okay. That's probably for Deanna and the, rain, uh, and the flooding. Uh, where can I get info to purchase your book? Jerry Cornell, 
That is one good question. Uh, go to my website, terryharden.com. Right above my head, like a halo, is the words online store. Click on that and it takes you right to the store. So uh, that's the easiest. I'm going to give you the easiest way. But if you want, I can uh, uh, email you a direct link if you'd rather have the direct link to the store. But uh, please do. Connie Lane, I am so glad you joined us today. Thank you for the purchase of the book. And I will be sending out your cachets because you were sweet enough to order a set of those. Those will go out today, my love. Um, uh, they should have gone out earlier, I'm just going to say. But today they will. And I will send you a uh, tracking number so you can keep track of it. The book will come in September. And Connie, uh, I believe you are in Marsa Lane. So if it's okay with you, I'll bring you your book. Okay. Unless you want it shipped uh, earlier. But the weekend after the Disney Anna show and sale, I'm going to be in Marsa Lane. So if you're uh, in Marsh Lane or going to be, I, I remember, I think I remember you there, but if I'm wrong, don't worry. The book comes in September. If I'm completely talking out my head, then uh, forgive me, but Connie, I was really touched that you you did that, and I want to thank you. Trying something different, doing my five miles, listening to you. Interesting day. Monsoon style here. Walk with me before it hits. Yes, exactly. Oh, I'm telling you, craziness, right? Crazy weather. It got super humid. Like I say, I feel like I'm in Maui with my sister, and um, just 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 mind boggling this weather. Mind boggling, but. I like that rain part. I really do. I really, really do. Love you. Stay safe. Love you too, Connie. Much, much hugs. Don't get wet. Um, and Angie says, hope you're having a good day, Nate. How about that from Angie? Wowza, wowza, wowza. I'm driving right now, but I'm still listening. Yeah. See, this is what I love about you guys. You're taking me everywhere. Like I've always wondered if I should do a podcast. I still plan on shortening these and making them little bits and bites. But there's been a few things that have commanded, grabbed me, uh, and taken over my life a little bit. Like the Hitchhiking Ghost. Let me just make an announcement now about the Hitchhiking Ghost. I know it's about an hour into it, but I'll do it anyway. Those of you who were supposed to get them in late June and then sometime in July will now get them in August. Thank you for your patience, all of you. Uh, the manufacturer got yet another misdelivered set of lighting uh, materials. And so he is, you know, I got to tell you, these ghosts are, are messing with us and going to put us both in the funny farm. The manufacturer, who's a very dear group of people to me and myself, uh, they just don't know what to do. They're, they, you know, you can't get blood from a rock and boy, you can't, you can't get these light people to do it right. Um, but it looks like uh, they have promised to get us. We, we finally sent a photo of the lights we were asking for to them. We did it before, but this time it's like, please don't send us anything but this, like in giant letters. Now, we have done this before, but they were ignoring us. And so um, the pandemic has kind of made them tired too, I would imagine. I'm sure they're getting a lot of problem. I have to realize that if Apple, that's Apple who makes the iPad and your phone, mine too, for many of you, is having trouble getting their components for their iPads and their material, their, their things that they're manufacturing. So if you're going to make Apple wait, I guess I should be willing to wait too. So don't worry, they are coming. <coughs> I am very eager for you to have uh, uh, your little babies with you. But more important than getting your little babies is you get them at the quality that I wish, which is top quality, okay? So uh, that's one of the reasons. If I wanted to let somebody make them shoddy and give them to you for the money that you have spent and invested, uh, it could happen, but then it, it, would be, it would be mean and rude, and I don't do that. It ruins my reputation. And a reputation is very, very hard to keep and incredibly easy to lose. So uh, thank you for your patience. And uh, I will be writing to a few of you to let you know that, uh, uh, you know, and you can always write to me and go, where are they? You know, I'm more than happy to answer, but that's the situation. You are top of my mind. The uh, boxes are ready to go. 
and the uh, and the certificates. I've got one very sweet lady who I can't seem to get the certificate to her in the proper fashion to save her life. Finally, I said, are you coming to the Disney Anna Fan Club? Because we will write it out correctly. I've messed it up twice. And it's because I'm trying to stay focused, but there's a lot swirling around my head. And this is what happens with many artists. And I'm doing appearances on Zooms and I'm talking to college kids and elementary kids and doing some puppet. I'm doing a lot. And then Sunday I rest. One day and seven to rest. And uh, but I still have these little tiny things, these little simple things. Let me not say tiny things, but simple things that seem to just go. And I'm like. <laughs> so I really appreciate the patience. She really is a sweetheart. She got her ghost. It's the certificate she's trying to get to be right because she'd like to, you know, ensure them. <sighs> it's good that I have good people like you that understand my craziness. Sounds like I need to get Disney Plus. Yep, I don't have it now. The Behind the Attraction sounds great. Angie, it's great. And one of the things I will highly recommend is you can try it for a month and then um, budget for a year. And the nice thing about budgeting for a year is that uh, if Disney raises the price, you're, you're locked it in. But I understand that times are tough. So many people were very smart. They went to the D23 event and got like three years as Disney was pre in the pre-sale. Because when we do pre-sales, you say, who do you think I learned this from? Disney. Disney will do a pre-sale and give you a great deal because they want you all there waiting for when they launch. Me too. I want you there waiting for your book, all signed in your hot little hands. So that's why me and the author, Lynette Eklund, decided to give you this $18 per book deal. Just like Disney gave you that three-year deal for Disney+. Plus. We wanted you to get it and be waiting and benefit. We knew others after it's done, after it's up and they can see it in their hands and they can flip through it. We'll love it too. But those of you who believe in us, we want to give you that break. And that's what we're doing. That's why I keep pushing the book. $18, $18 a book because, you know, it's regularly $23.99. We're not saying the nice low price of a dollar off. No, just like Disney, we're giving you a big break. We, I follow the, I follow the master, and Disney is the master when it comes to marketing. Would you agree? Yes, absolutely. Nineteen ninety six was twenty five years ago. Yeah, baby, it show sure was. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Deanna. Thank you. Uh, yikes, floods. Glad you got rain, but yikes. I know, right? So, some people are like, okay, wanted the rain, but didn't want the flood. Blah, blah, blah. You know, some sort of system would be great where you could capture that rain. And I don't know, you, you capture the, that water and you, yeah. So, but I feel the same way. I feel a like, yikes. You're always welcome to come stay in our guest room in, in, in the in the winter. In the winter. Yes, that's the way. With a winner as well. Nate, I'm gonna take you up on it. I traveled so much in 2019 that I should have had wings on my back. And then 2020, as we all know, ooh, flatline. I got to get to Florida before they locked down and see my friends. But uh, I had a London trip plan, a China trip, a UK trip, and a Canada trip planned. And uh, also uh, going back east. But uh, we are praying that the pandemic uh, levels out in uh, September, October. And uh, in October, we're going to be. Uh, so just to tell you a little more about this book, and I'm going to pop the book up on here so I can talk to you about this book. And thank you, Nate. Um, this, this, this book, we're going to do a tour in... Uh, with the author, because the author lives on the East Coast, while I live on the West Coast. So I'm doing some appearances here. She's not going to be able to be with me here, but I'm going to make it a point of going over and being with her for the West Coast, because it's so rare. So we are, they're warning us that there are thunderstorm watches. So there you go. Um, but anyway, I offered to come out there and uh, help the publisher, which is there to, you know, we want to say thank you to those on the East Coast that supported us with this book. 
So I will be on the East Coast, Indiana for sure, but other places maybe too. So uh, stay tuned. I'll let you know because like Nate, he'll be able to pick his books up in, um, we're hoping he'll be able to, be able to pick his books in, up in the East Coast and then um, all will be said, will be good, you know? So uh, so we're, we're working on it. We're, we're thinking, you know, because we know you're out there and you want to have some lots of personal appearances by her on that area and by me in the West Coast, especially with the pandemic. But we're trying to work it out that we can, you know, do both for you. So, so we're working on it. This book is really lovely. This book is uh, uh, hand illustrated by, it was illustrated by me, colored by her and written by her. It's a children's book that was made and is published in the USA, is a hardcover book and is stitched. So you're not gonna have those pages fall out, which I can I collect children's books. And when that happens, I have to have them redone, but uh, you don't have to do that. So, uh, and they're signed uh, by both of us. One thing about the pre-sale, you will be guaranteed both signatures. So uh, another reason, $18 and signed by both of us. You see, whoop, whoop, whoop. Bonus is what I say. Okay, there you go. Love you guys. Thank you for allowing me to say that. But after seeing that post, it's kind of important to let you know what's going on. And I'll keep saying it for you. Uh, haha, I had you on. Didn't want to miss the show. Had to take a shower, but couldn't hear very well. Then you read my first comment as we missed the only heard you say my name. Cracked up. Yes, I've been so gardening. I missed so many. Yes, I know. I know. I know. I know. And you can listen to it later, but basically, Catherine, I was saying, uh, please go and grab the book, Giggling Pumpkins. It's our first, and share it with people. $18 is a big deal and a big thing, and if you want to buy multiples, uh, have a chat with me. I can invoice you so you're not uh, paying all that, like, you know, just say pick up and then I'll invoice you, or let me know if you want to buy 10 or more and, I, and I'll invoice you, just easier for you, okay? But uh, talk to me first, all right? Don't get yourself all worked up that too much money was charged or whatever. I can't set the store up to sell 10. And I mean, it's it's just too confusing. It'll confuse everybody. So so write me and I'll invoice you. That's what I've been doing. Okay? Okie dokie. Up, oh, another AccuWeather. AccuWeather says severe thunderstorms again. Watch out. Be careful. But Deanna told us, so why did I even care about that? Dun, dun. My daughter dug a small berm to direct the rain in the rain. And we were gone when this was happening <laughs> as we were gone. Yeah. Oh, good daughter. But was your car okay? Because you're driving home and the water is rolling, Deanna. So I still hope you were okay as you're trying to make it home. Because floods, you know. If you do, we will take you to see Lake Michigan with the snow and ice on it. Yum. That sounds fun. My sister used to live in Chicago and uh, she walked us around during the winter time. Man, it was fun. It was like February, right? And the lakes were frozen. And there was a little uh, lighthouse in the middle of nowhere. And I said, man, it might be kind of fun to live there. You're in the middle of, of ice and it just looked like a fun place to live. I love lighthouses. My husband says, no, they're very lonely, but I love lighthouses. So anyway. Oh, thank you, Catherine. Mwah. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And share with those that you think might benefit because it's such a good deal. And uh, the reason we're doing it is just like Disney. We want as many people who have had our backs in the past and their friends and their family to get this fantastic deal. And uh, and that's the idea. So what's happening this week? If you are excited enough and you decide to join, to join uh, the tribe, we have a Zoom call on every Wednesday at 11 a.m. And we talk for about one to two hours. It just depends on how many and how busy you all are. Uh, that's what we do. Uh, I also uh, want to do a little drawing demonstration. I think we're going to work on that maybe. It kind of depends on what the tribe has to say because sometimes the tribe stuff is more exciting than what I've got planned. And uh, so I stay loose. But um, but this week, 
finish up my painting for the uh, Red Dot Society, Chuck Jones Center of Creativity. And they're probably like, you know, if you mail it, we may not get it. So I may actually have to drive it down to their studio. Uh, not the best idea, but I want to get that there in time because I love them and I don't want to be late. But I also want to make sure the painting is, I'm happy with my painting. Um, but there's a lot been going on. So I've got to get that done. I've got to uh, make sure my sister's gift is mailed. My sister's birthday is August 1st. So I want to make sure she gets it. The nice thing is we both realize the mail is crazy. So it doesn't have to be on the first. We just have to notify them that we sent something. And then um, um, I'm going to lunch with an amazing lady. You remember I showed you my recipe for a Disney... Uh, Disney Artist and Legends cookbook that will be coming out. I'm going to have lunch with that author tomorrow and learn more about that. So I will uh, bring that to you. It's going to be great to sit down with her and talk books. Uh, timing couldn't be better. Uh, and I'm excited about that. So I will share that with you Friday. I will answer questions you want Friday. And uh, uh, it's raining. So I'm going to go look at some rain and be super excited. And uh, right now it's just, it's bleak outside. If I cut to this one and my shake is kind of big and in the middle, but, but here you can see it's light outside, not just yet raining, but, uh, but there you have it. Um, lots of excitement. Um, Want to make out a plan to get as many people as I can notified about the book. So that's a big deal, but mainly... Things shipped off, you know, you saw here that we had uh, a lovely comment from Connie Lane. She actually ordered a set of my cachets, and so I want to make sure she gets them. She can't get lost in the book pre-sale thing, and then she'll get her book. You'll get your book, Connie, in um, September. So there you go. There we have it. Love you guys a bunch. Um um, absolutely. And being so close to the lake, we have a lot of lights. See, I love lighthouses. Deanna says 16 year old girl tried to drive over the wash and got washed away. They're searching. Yes, I did hear about that. And I did send prayers out for her. Uh, they called her a swimmer, but she really wasn't swimming, was she? So, uh, be careful out there, guys. Do something nice for someone. If you're, especially if you're feeling bad, it's going to make you feel so much better. Trust me, I did it this weekend and for my neighbor, and he was very grateful, and I was very grateful as well. So, um, hi, Maggie. So good to see you. Uh, but, yeah, do nice things. It sounds, seems like during the pandemic, niceness is, is taking a back seat because people who I was nice to just didn't be, seemed to be so touched and happy that I was nice. Um, I wish that wasn't the case, but it is. So, uh, do consider my Patreon page, patreon.com slash Terry Harden. Your voice would love to be heard. I know you'll enjoy it. And, uh, I hope to see you over there. And finally, once again, buy that book, guys. It's really, really fun and exciting. And it's my first. So $18, such a deal. Terryharden.com. Click on online store. Have a good time. Have a great week. Think about your questions for Friday or some statements that you'd like to make. And uh, thank you for telling me about Disney attractions. And maybe Friday we can discuss. Uh, it is the opening of Jungle Book, right? The movie with uh, Dwayne Johnson. And uh, we love Dwayne. I just don't think I'm going to pay extra for the movie. I may go see it at a matinee. I have to see if my husband's into it. But uh, lots to talk about, okay? Love you a bunches. Love you all so much. And uh, Stephen Golden, I showed your book at the top of this thing and talked about you. So uh, be sure you catch that. And thank you for the book uh, that's got Alan Cook. Uh, he was a very dear friend. And it, I, I leafed through it just to remind myself. Uh, See, even the internet says, you're done, girl. <laughs> Take care, my loves. We'll see you soon.